All right, computer science students, let's talk, let's talk about random numbers in Java, uh, particularly from a math standpoint. So uh, before we get started, we're going to do just a few preliminary things, uh, some items that we need to talk about. First off, counting in computer science. This sounds strange, but this way it works. Computer science com students, programmers, we always start counting with zero. So zero, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. This will come into play a lot. The next item we need to discuss just to get this knocked out of the way, that is the number of numbers from zero to 15 is 16. Sorry, a dramatic pause there. Uh, it was a little delayed. So the number of numbers from zero to 20, how many numbers are there? from 0 to 20, including 0 and including 20, the answer is 21, that's right, because uh, you have to include 0, so if you're including 0 in your in your counting, you say 0 would be the first number, 1 would be the second number, 2 would be the third number, if you were counting the actual numbers, uh, then from 0 to 100 would be 101, because by the time you get to 100, you would say 100 is the 101st number. Now you may be asking, what does this have to do with random numbers? And we'll find out. Uh, this has a lot of stuff to do with computer science, actually. So, uh, the next idea that we need to know uh, is that the number of numbers from 5 to 20, okay, so if you are counting how many numbers are there between 5 and 20, you might say, oh, I got this. Okay, minus 5, it's 15. Well, it's actually 16. And you're like, what? Okay, so let's list all the numbers from 5 to 20, and let's just start counting them. So we're going to count 5. So 5 is 1, 6 is 2, 7 is 3, and so on and so forth. By the time we get to 20, uh, 20 is the 16th number from 5 to 20, including 5 and including 20. That's the difference. If we were to say, you know, what is the difference between 5 and 20, we would say it's 16. But the number of numbers from 5 to 20. And so the, the, the real deal is, the, the real reason why this is off is because we are including that 5 in our counting process. All right, so the number of numbers, just to make sure we know this, from 2 to 4 is 3. It's not 2. See, look, just a short example. 2, 3, 4. There are three numbers from 2 to 4. Okay. From 1 to 10 is 10. From 1 to 100 is 100. Because obviously 1 is the first number, 2 is the second number, 3, and you get the idea. From 8 to 15 is, you say, I got this now. I would say it's 7, that's the difference, but it seems to be one more. You're right. Add 1 to it, so that's 8. Now I think we might finally, well, that's therefore, the little three dots there means therefore, it's conclusion of the matter. The number of numbers from A to B is A minus B plus 1. So, if you want to know how many numbers are there between this number and that number, well, find the difference and then add one, just like what you were thinking it would be. Now, let's finally get around talking about random numbers in this random number lecture, shall we? So, uh, let's say that what we want are random integers from 0 to 99, including 0 and including 99. So we want some way of picking a random number could pick 42, could pick 52, could pick 17, or 11, or 98, or 58, anything, any number, as long as it's an integer inside. Now, this is what Java offers us, math.random, that's it, and it's only going to give us numbers between 0 and 1, in fact, it's going to give us all sorts of, uh, what are called floating point, or double values, so 0 0.1, 0 0.07, 0 0.0003692, or, you know, uh, 0 0.8675309, I don't all sorts of different crazy stuff we could have uh, in between there, lots of different dots, 
but zero is included, one is not included. Math.random will give us a random number, basically anything with a, a zero dot whatever after it. And it could be zero, it could be 0, 0. .0. So anything between zero and 0 0.9999999, I don't know, there's something like 15 or 16 nines after that, it just depends how much memory is allocated for that. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to get integers from 0 to 99 when what we have uh, available to us are all just all these numbers? And the answer is we are going to scale it, which means multiply. We're going to multiply uh, whatever this gives us by some number. It's going to expand it out over to here. We're going to cast it our answer as an int, so that way it just becomes an integer, it chops off any decimals, and shift it if necessary. That means we're going to add some things. Uh, we'll do that there at the very end. So you can see we'll take all those numbers and we'll just kind of spread out there so that they can be any of the integers in the region that we're interested in. So scale it, integerize it, and shift it. So, in Java, the way that we would do that would be a command that would look something like this. int num equals int, that means we're going to cast something as an int, and then open parentheses math.random, close parentheses, times 100. So, let's go ahead and uh, look at this line of code uh, step by step. So, this is the way that I like to do it, the um, you know, stuff that we have online is, is a little bit different, but this I feel like is from a mathematical standpoint. So math.random, as I mentioned a second ago, is going to give you anything between 0 and 0.99999. I'm just going to have four nines there just for make things simple. All right, so any number in there, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.4709, whatever, all kinds of, it could be anything inside there that will generate. Then Using our order of operations, we're still inside the parentheses, so we're going to multiply that, whatever number we get, by 100. So on the low end, we could get 0, if in fact we've got 0, 0 times 100 would be 0. The very largest, the maximum number we could possibly get in that would be 0.99999 times 100, which would obviously be, you can think of this as like 99.9% .9 of whatever this number is. So Basically, the number that's real right close up to so 99.999, obviously, since it's 100, then you would you know, just shift over the decimal point. But in future problems, we are not going to have 100 there, so just think, this is 99.999% of whatever this thing is. So everything inside this parentheses is going to give us some random number between 0 and 99.999, and it's going to be a double. I mean, it's going to, it could be... Uh, 51.72, it could be 3.14, uh, it could be uh, 10.1234, I don't know, it could, it could be anything between 0 and 99.999, there will be lots of decimals after it, which is why we want to chop all those decimals off, cast it as an int. So now we have 0 to 99, including 0, because 0 is included there, including 99, just what we wanted, integers only. Perfect. Beautiful. That's amazing. What if we want 0 to 100 inclusive? That is, we want to go from 0 to 100, so pretty much the same thing, except we're going to put 101 right there. You're like, why 101? Well, the same reason uh, why we put 100 when it was 99. Um, and that is because this math.random is going to give you 99, you know, give you 0.999%, you know, any uh, number that right all the way up to this, but not including this number itself. Remember, math.random goes from 0 all the way up to 1, but it doesn't include 1. So uh, the largest number that we would get inside this parentheses right here would be uh, 100.999999. We cast that as an int, all those nines drop off, and so from the low end we have 0, the high end we have 100. And so, sort of this off by one thing, uh, we're going to see it a whole lot 
where students are like, oh, 0 to 100, oh, let's just put a 100 right there. No, put 101. So, 51. Oh, okay. So, if we are going, want numbers between 0 and 50, then this multiplier right here, this scaling factor, would be 51. If we're going from 0 to 10, that scaling factor right there would be 11. Everything else would be identical, would be the same. If we're going from 0 to 100, 0 to 50, 0 to 10. Assuming, obviously, of course, that we want integers only, which we pretty much always do. We only want, double, want doubles or whatever. Okay. All right, so here's a question for you, Hotshot. What if I want from 1 to 100? Pretty simple question. Pretty common guessing game, right? Uh, inclusive, so including 1, including 100. Normally, we want to say, give me a number from 0 to 100. We say from 1 to 100. Or what's the rating from 1 to 100? So, you might think, I've got this. It's just going to be the same thing like you had a second ago, but add 1 to it. So, just add 1 to that other thing. All right. You think you're so smart? Well, here we go. So, int num2, we're going to sort num2 is going to put a whole big parentheses around this. Where's that other parentheses? There we go, plus one. So, boom, just the zero to 100 thing, and we're going to add one to it. Okay, we got the 101 right there because that's 100. I'm super, I'm smarter than you are. I think I got this all figured out. All right, let's see how smart you are. So this is going to go from zero to 0 0.999. I just touched with the nine right there. Multiply it by 101. So this is going to get almost up to 101, but not quite hit it. So at the low end, it's going to give us zero. At the high end, it's going to give us 100.99999. Uh, now, once again, just to repeat, this is going to give any random number inside this range. And then we multiply it, that's going to give any random number inside this range. Then we cast it as an int, so it's going to chop off anything. So we've got 0 to 100 integers only inside that whole parentheses. And we're almost good to go. We're going to add 1 to it, since you thought that was a good idea. And here we go, from 1 to 101. Ooh, ouch. Well, maybe if I just get 101, I'll throw it out. Nope, sorry. Won't work. We don't like this. That's a problem. So, the way around this is actually not complicated, but I'm going to... Um, so here's the, here's the better solution. We need to recognize that the numbers from 1 to 100 is pretty much the same number of numbers as 0 to 99. Uh, it's 100 numbers. Okay, if like, wait a second, I'm not sure, that's pretty much the same. It's, oh, it's the same number of numbers, so to speak. Because 1, 2, 3, oh, no, okay, okay, there's 100 numbers obviously here. And here, you're like, oh, there's 99 numbers. Nope, wait a second, we're counting the zero, so there's 100 numbers right there. So what we're going to do is, let's make something that's going to do this. No, give me 100 numbers between 0 and 99, and then we're going to shift it to the right um, by 1. So in other words, what we're going to do here, just if you want a visual person here, we're going to pick any number you know, from 0 to 99, and then we're going to shift it to the right. We want to just add 1, so 1 to 100. Uh, and so thus, we're going to generate numbers from 0 to 99, and shift left. That is a typo. We're shifting it to the right. I said shift it to the right there. I wrote shift to the left. Sorry about that. Okay, so now this is 100% correct. So this right here will get what you wanted from 1 to 100 and you see we've got int math.random times 100 plus 1. Let's analyze this and make sure that we're on the right track. So here you go, math.random 0 to 0.999 times 100, so 0 to 99.999. Integerize it, so now it's only integers, and then add 1, so we're going to add 1 and what that would do is that if the lowest number that it possibly gave us before was 0, now the lowest number that it possibly going to give us is 1. And if before, the highest number that this expression right here would give us is 99, now the largest number that this is going to give us is 100. And we are happy because we got what we wanted. So uh, we need to now figure out what exactly did we do here so we can do it over and over again and use it uh, in... Uh, 
programs. So let's say we want to generate a random number from 5 to 20. Integers only, including 5 and including 20. So just a reminder, from 5 to 20 is 16 numbers. So there's one from 5, 6, 7, so there's, there's 16 possible numbers there. So what we want to do is we're going to create uh, random numbers from uh, 0 to 15 and then shift that over 5. When the world will okay, let's watch this. Math.random 0.999 times 16 is going to give us 99% of 16. So it could take us all up to 15.99999. Integerize that. So now we're 0 to 15 integers only. Shift it over 5. Smallest number we could possibly get is 5. Largest number that we could possibly get is 20 integers only. All right. So notice just a couple things we did here. This right here represents the number of possible numbers and we're happy all right let's see if we can generate um, some sort of generic formula so from a to b inclusive so we're going to have int math.random times what i'm going to say range plus one plus low oh, wait a second that was what my old formula plus from a so a is our lowest number b is our highest number plus a where obviously range is b minus a this is what we had here when we had from 5 to 20 okay then from you know the range is b minus a so 20 minus 5 was 15 plus 1 so that's why we put 16 right there plus a which is our low number this is going to work in hint if even if your a is negative and b is positive or if uh, a is negative and b is negative if you're going from from like maybe negative uh, 200 to negative 100 or something like that this works no matter where you are on the number line so uh, there's a happy face and <laughs> that was a terrible face there's a much happier face and uh, i think we're pretty much finished for random numbers thanks for watching